Gary, your thoughts on that goalless draw? Yeah, I think um, under the circumstances of uh, a few things that could have affected our performance and possibly did. Um, you know, we played on Saturday in a, in a local derby, as we all know. Um, great atmosphere, I would imagine it would have sapped a little bit of energy away from the players, and I knew that would happen. But obviously we haven't got the luxury of changing too many. We made two changes in order to hope we could freshen it up a little bit. Um, and also, I think when you look at the pitch, um, it's always going to have a massive effect on the game. So we felt as though early on, Sheffield Wednesday is certainly trying to use their um, little bit of extra freshness uh, in terms of them not playing for 10 days to try and pin us back and, and out-tempo us, if you like, and force the ball in the back of the net. And I think for 10, 15 minutes, it probably took us a while to get going. Then we then we sort of started to cope with the game a little bit better and, and um, you know have a little bit more control in the game. I think we had probably two, a couple of chances either half, decent chances that maybe we should have done better with. I think one's got flashed across Groundsy and Clay's just couldn't quite get anything on it. And I think second half he's had a header and another chance as well. Um, and of course they had bad one or two chances as well and lots of balls in our box. Again, you know, certain things go against you. Michael Morrison coming off first half and he just rolled his ankle, landed a little bit funny. Um, and again, you think that might have a, an effect on us, but Specs goes in there uh, and justifies really the reason why we let one or two players go out. Um, and he did great. I thought he's done fantastically well. We've ended up with Robbo and Specs, so not, none of them are the most physical in terms of size and presence about them, but they play with size and presence and, and they've got their head on all sorts of things. I thought Specs and Robbo were fantastic for us today. Mm-hmm. You mentioned Jonathan Spector there. He hasn't had a lot of action due to injury, but... Coming into a game like that against a big player like Nihu, him and Robinson were, were excellent for you. Yeah, I thought they were really good. Just read the game. You know, he's obviously a player that's played at centre half in Premier League. So you're talking about someone that's um, you know had an excellent career so far. You know, um, and he just reads the game well and copes. And Robbo does the same. You know, he's not massive, but he just he throws himself at things. Um, I thought they showed that they were more than a match for the size of Nihu uh, and whoever else had alongside them at any point of the game. So um, I was really pleased with that. I think there was some other good performance as well. But it was just I just thought it was a very difficult game to get our game going. You know, you couldn't break and travel with a ball quickly because of the pitch. So at times I just felt as though we had to stick our foot through it and try and see if we could land on the seconds off Clayton and then break. And that's what we t- tried to do a little bit more in the game. I had some quite good moments where you felt you know a better pitch we might have got into better areas um, but I'm really really pleased in the end with a, a goalless draw clean sheet and another very very good point in the right direction as you say coming away and getting a point especially after a, a big cup game at the weekend you've got to be happy with that or should, uh, are you feeling a bit greedy and, and maybe might have nicked it did you feel we always look at one or two incidents where you think, you know, if we'd have scored there and maybe we'd go away with a three points. Uh, I think there was an awful lot in the game and maybe one or two of the other away games we've done exactly that. Um, so we're not going to do that on all of them. But I just think if you look at some of the tougher games we've had this season, the Blackpool, the pitch was poor, we perhaps should have come away with a point but didn't play as well or manage the conditions as well. Leeds, a very physical game. Cardiff at home, very physical game. This one was a very physical game. We're just starting to cope a little bit better with those games. I think we can do more um, because I don't think we're the biggest strongest team in the world we're not great we haven't got an amazing size in there but what we have got is a load of players that will work really really hard for each other Um, and I think that showed again today so like I said a clean sheet which is um, you know first for a while um, and very very good gritty away performance and just back to Michael Morrison what's the prognosis of his ankle injury is it a serious one or not I don't know at this point, Carl. Uh, I think um, you know it didn't look too bad. Uh, I think he carried on playing, and we weren't sure whether he was saying he needed to come off or not. So he was still running, and I think he just felt it would just start to tighten up a little bit for sort of five or ten minutes. So the fact that he's got through that ten minutes, you would hope that it means there's nothing structurally too wrong with him. Uh, I think he's maybe just rolled his ligaments a little bit. So again, we'll we'll see over the next day or so. Um, but I think what it does probably is it just speeds up our decision. Um, you know, to, to bring another centre half in. But listen, again, we've got Specs who's gone in there, done great. We've got Grounds who can go in there, Mitch to left back. So we've got we have got options. It's not as though we're um, you know we got we need to go and sign two centre half to cope. Um, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. But I was really pleased with lots of things that went on tonight.